Morning folks and welcome back to the track and it is time to take the Mercedes AMG out to see how fast it can go around the track. But before we do that, to get me warmed up a bit to doing a bit of driving this morning, get the track warmed up as well, I thought we could take one of the Lambos out and give one of them a quick blast. two Lamborghinis to choose from which one do we take is it going to be the Gallardo or the Hurricane the Gallardo or the Hurricane I'm going to take the Gallardo this car is just so much fun since it had its stage one tune done it's just so smooth it goes round the track so well and you can get the back end out on it as well which is the bit that I like so much is making this thing slide I think the only problem is when I get a stage 2 upgrade done maybe it's not going to be as slidey who knows it might not be as fun I don't know but we'll find out when we get it done but in the meantime this thing <laughs> is fun. So this is it then, it's time to find out how fast this NSR Mercedes AMG GTR can get around my track. Now if I were a betting man I reckon it'll be probably second fastest. Um, it's not going to be quite as fast as the Lamborghini Hurricane sideways car simply because the Lambo is almost identical in terms of its setup but seems to be more sort of hunkered down than the AMG which tends to sort of slide a little bit more on the corners but we are now going to find out and there is only one way to find out and that's to get it on the track and see what the result is so without any further ado let's track time the AMG GT now before we go for a lap time as usual we're allowed to warm the car up and that's what we're going to do now uh, we have to warm up the tyres, warm up the motor at least 10 laps are allowed in fact I would say a minimum of 10 laps are allowed to get this car warmed up and ready to give it a fair chance it would be unfair to make any of these cars do their lap times on cold tyres so we're going to do that now get it warmed up and see how we go Warming up nicely now. It's so smooth this motor, it's unbelievable. Very, very smooth, very quiet. And as I said before, it's an absolute joy to drive. We are getting quite a bit of slide already on some of these corners. But hopefully that will. Uh, ease off as we start to warm up the tyres and warm up the motor. This is looking good. Okay. Okay, we're hitting start race. I'm feeling quite nervous. And we are off. Bit of a slide on that uh, corner as I came out of the dip slot there. And again, sliding a little bit. I'm trying to contain these slides because they're not good. They slow the car down. That sounds like a good lap there, that looked good. We're really getting a feel for this car now. I 
and she's going well. And that is it, that's the 10 laps. That is the 10 laps done. We're just going to slow her down now, bring her back in, nice and steady. And we're going to take a look and see the results. It is time to find out how fast this NSR Mercedes AMG GT went around my track. So let's go to the usual Magic Art Pro software, have a look at the statistics and take a look at what this car has managed to do. So we're on the AMG GT and we have a race time of 47.5 seconds for 10 laps. I can tell you now that is the fastest time achieved by any car on my track. That without doubt puts it straight into the number one slot. We had, had a maximum speed of 227 miles an hour. I think to be honest I'm beginning to get a bit curious about this max speed because that's coming up regularly and I think that's probably the fastest time that this um, Magic Art Pro can actually record because I've had three cars now come up at 227 so I think it's uh, we have a bit of an issue with that but it, we do have a fastest race time set and a best lap time of 4.46 seconds it'll be interesting to compare the best lap times to see how they stack up but that is a fantastic result very very fast time we're straight in really with a sub five second lap time straight away near enough and the laps just got faster and faster um, it appears that the fastest lap was set at lap six where I really started to get some confidence and the 227 miles per hour the fastest lap was um, tracked on lap seven but as I say I've got my uh, queries about that I'm not entirely sure that that speed trap works correctly however we are going to go with the best lap time and we're going to go with the total race time and that makes the NSR AMG GT the fastest car on my track let's have a look now at the lead table to see how this car is stacking up What a performance from this NSR Mercedes AMG GT. I said at the start that I never thought this car would beat the Lamborghini Huracan from Racer Sideways, but it has. And not only that, it set a new track record in it being the first to get under 50 seconds on a 10 lap run, which is absolutely astounding. Now you could argue that if I were to now take the Lamborghini Huracan, stick it on the track and take it round, it may well pick the post and beat the AMG, but don't forget these track tests are done straight out of the box with no magnets and it would be unfair now to take the Lamborghini and take it on a second run uh, to give it a second chance. But we may well do that in the future actually, is maybe I should get some of these cars back out on the track and see if we can see how much faster I can get them compared to the first time I put them on the track. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed watching the video, have fun, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.